Hello everyone, I'm Beastally14. Today I'm going to show you how you can completely transform Minecraft into a realistic survival game. Now we'll be using the version 1.18 and the Forge mod loader. There will be two sections to this video. The first one is realistic graphics and animations, while the second one being realistic mechanics. Let's begin. Now to start off, there are quite a few videos doing this kind of transformation already, so I'm just going to fast forward through some of the most commonly used mods in case you weren't aware of these mods' existence. There's ambient sounds. Enhanced visuals Alex mobs Physics mod And lastly, Terralif I would say that these mods are almost essential in transformation videos but with that out of the way, let's talk about graphics and animations. Now, you can choose a couple 128 or even 1024 pixels resource pack to make each block look more realistic. But I actually think that due to the nature of Minecraft being a block-based game, it looks kind of cursed. I don't know. If you do decide to use realistic resource pack, I suggest LB Photo Realism Reload or Modern Arch since both of them are free and provides decent graphics. For me, I prefer more vanilla style textures, so I went with Faithful PB our 512 pixels resource pack. The 128 pixels version is also acceptable if your computer cannot handle it. The reason I chose the PBR version is obviously for its compatibility with shaders. The shader that I chose is Zeus Renewed because I think it looks the most realistic and the rain effect of this pack is simply stunning. Other resource packs that we'll be adding include round trees, germs by the leaves, fresh animations, Fresh Animations add-on, which adds a few variants and improvements to the base Fresh Animations pack. And lastly, Classic 3D. Now this pack will decrease the resolution of some blocks, but it makes up for it by offering much more detailed block models. As for the other ambience and graphics mod, we have Sounds Physics Overhaul, Visual Workbench, and True Darkness, which makes the light pitch black when there's no light around. Then we have an amazing player animations mod called Train Guys Animation Overhaul. Now this mod is not completed yet, so it's not available on CurseWatch, but it's still obtainable in the mod's owner's Discord. You just need to go to the GitHub and find the fork. Here are some animations already available in the mod. Another big part of the visual change actually comes from the data packs. The first data pack that we'll be using is Staff Animations. It's for the version 1.17, but it also works well for 1.18. Now, the physics mod actually also has Staff Animation, but it doesn't work well with fresh animations. And it also doesn't have as much function as the data pack, such as having blood particles or allowing you to pick up body parts like the data pack. You can even cook and eat these body parts in this data pack, so it's clearly a better choice for me. There's also the animated double doors and dynamic surroundings. It's supposed to be a mod, but it's currently not updated to 1.18 yet, so we'll be using the data pack instead. But don't underestimate this data pack, it's really detailed. Alright, so let's move on to the gameplay mechanics. A few obvious choice would be Survive, which adds the temperature, stamina, and first system into the game. Hardcore torches and unlit campfire, which makes lighting sources harder to obtain and maintain. There's also the diet mod, which assigns a nutrition value on different food items, requiring you to keep track of the types of food that you consume. In addition to that, I've also added the spoiled mod, which makes food spoil slowly over time if you don't consume them in time. Other quality of life changes include include Hourglass, which time-lapse through the night instead of skipping through it. This makes sleeping a lot more realistic and I think a bit more dangerous as well. There's also Serene Seasons, which adds seasonal change to the overworld. Farmer's Delight, which makes cooking a lot more dynamic and interesting. There's the Crayfish Furniture, which adds a bunch of simple furniture for decoration purpose. Sleeping Bags and Camp Chair gives you a more realistic camping experience. It's worth noting that the Sleeping Bag mod also works well with the Hourglass mod. Speaking of compatibility, Ability, the mod Parkour, which allows you to perform different dynamic movements, works extremely well with the Animations Overhaul mod that we mentioned before. These two mods alone improve the player movement and animations by at least 10 times more. I would have also added the First Person Model mod, but it's kind of strange looking at times so I'll leave it out for now. 
For the NPCs that you'll be encountering in the village, we'll be adding villager names, regrowth, and smarter farmers to make the villagers seem more alive and intelligent. Villagers will now have their own names, regrow their own plants, and build defenses around their village. Now with all that being said, I would still say that the biggest change to your gameplay comes from one single data pack called True Survival. This pack overhauls so many aspects of the game that it will take such a long time just to talk about the basics. For example, when you wake up, you will have different cravings for that day. Fulfill the craving and you'll get some bonus effects. Natural regeneration is turned off, and the only way to regenerate is to throw logs at a lit campfire. Undead mobs will now stomp out torches, and zombies in particular can drain your hunger. Overall, there are just so many features, and all of them work surprisingly well with little to no compatibility issues, while suiting our theme of realism. Now normally, I would do a gameplay section, but I'll just leave the pack here for you guys to try out. Remember to install Optifine on your own, cause I don't have permission to use it. For my next few videos, it's likely that I'll be doing another medieval castle siege experiment, but with a twist. And also, I may be showcasing a project that me and my team has been working on for almost 4 months now. So if you're interested in any of these projects, hit the subscribe and bell button if you don't want to miss out. So yeah, that's it. See ya.